everyone, I'm Laura from GoSimply.ca and today we're going to do a knee recovery workout and we're going to be doing all of the exercises with the aid of a chair. So if you've had a knee injury or knee surgery, as long as you have been cleared to do activity, then this workout should be safe for you. Certainly don't do anything that feels uncomfortable or is painful. Uh, just keep an eye on your own body and how you are feeling. So grab a chair and we'll get started right away. Okay, our first exercise is going to be a half squat holding the chair for support. So we're not going to go down the, the whole way, we're just going to go back and then stand up to tall. And it would be a good idea, maybe you're at the point where you don't need to have your hands fully on the chair all the time, but it's still a good idea to have it there. Okay, so just we're going to do all these exercises for about 45 seconds a piece. They're going to be gentle, but they should be involving those knees. Again, so we want to really stick our bottom out behind us. Just use the chair. I'm not holding, I'm just sort of resting my hands on it. Use as much support as you need. So just a few more seconds here and then we'll get a rest and we may have to move our chair around. Okay, now we're going to do a standing sort of leg extension. I'm going to start on my left side, so I'm going to leave my chair where it is. So we're going to have our leg straight up bent and extend it full out. Okay, it doesn't have to be as high as mine is, and you don't have to get parallel. Your knee can be, you know, down here, and you're just kicking it out in front. That is fine. You're just getting that motion through the knee, and you want to go to full extension, and then bend it back. You should have nice tall posture. It's a good balance as well to be doing this standing, because we're standing on one leg. But we have the chair here for support. Now, and we're going to switch and do the other side. I will need to move my chair to do that. Okay, you can just, you know, go to the other side, but you won't be able to see me, so I'm going to move my chair over so that I can do it on this side. So again, now I'm going to stand on the opposite leg, and we're going to go straight to bend. Okay, so straight out, and then bend it in. And again, if you want to see that from the side. So I'm not currently recovering from a knee injury, but I do, I have several times recovered from knee injuries, especially this right knee here has been a tricky knee for me throughout life so far. And it is also um, arthritic now, probably from many of the injuries and just getting older, it's part of life. So I am often trying to do things to keep my knees very strong, to work all the stabilizing muscles and tendons around the knee as a preventative measure as well as healing. Okay, so now we're going to do a rear lunge with chair support. So I'm actually going to turn my chair fully backwards this time and then I can just go. And I'm going to start on the left leg here. So I'm going to go down and then stand back up okay now if you are nearing the beginning you'll want to come up and put pressure on both feet when you stand up so your weight is even if you are further along in your recovery you can come up to one leg and just constantly be working your supporting leg and if you really want to add in a bit more you can lift the knee up every time Okay, so it will depend where you are in your recovery. So again, you could just be tapping here or transferring weight. Okay, and now we're going to switch and do that on the other side. And this time I don't have to move my chair because I just turned it around backwards. So we're going to do the rear lunge holding on to the chair. So lunging back, you can put your hand on your hip, you can put your hand out to the side, and again, you can come up to the top and actually stand on both legs and transfer the weight completely, or you can come and just sort of tap that toe 
and put very little weight into the opposite leg. Or you can come all the way up and really use those abdominals as well. It's excellent for balance. But you don't want to push too fast. When you're recovering from injury, it, there's no point in pushing fast because you just end up going backwards. Eventually, you hurt it again, it doesn't heal properly, and then you have to start over. Okay, so now we're going to do a seated straight leg lift. So I do need to move my chair again. You can just wander around your chair, but I need to move. So with this straight leg lift, I'm simply going to lift it and lower it. Okay, so I'm starting with my left leg going up and down. Doesn't matter which one you're doing, we're going to do both sides. I find when I am having a period of either really bad arthritis in my knee or recovering from an injury, I don't work just the one knee, I work both knees. Uh, so I do the exercises on both sides of the body. One, it just makes for a better workout and it keeps my body balanced and that's the really important part. So while it might be easier for the one leg, that's okay. And I try to do lots of walking. Walking is an excellent workout. Okay, I'm going to switch and do the other side. It is. It has impact, but it's a low impact. It is good to keep sort of the synovial, that's the fluid all through our joints, moving. So again, straight leg lift, okay? Now you might have sort of a little micro bend in the knee here. It, does, it doesn't need to be locked out, but, but you know, we're not doing it like bent. So I always do both sides of the body, always, always, always. And I do both sides of the body the same. I don't try and do harder on the side of the body that isn't healing. I do both sides the same. I keep balance on both sides or else it can, the imbalance can cause injury over the long term. Excellent. So next up we're going to do a sumo or a wide leg squat holding the chair. So I'm going to turn my chair again so that you can see. So we're going to do legs are wide, toes slightly pointed out, and we're going to go down and then up. Okay, so now we're really working the inner thigh, but it is a different motion for those knees. They are going slightly outward. And you sort of want the knees to go the same direction as the toes are pointed. And you don't have to go down really low. You can just do what's working for you for now. And as you feel stronger, as you get better healing, you can go lower. And again, holding the chair. You could have the chair in front of you and hold with both hands. Okay, so now we're going to do... Um, a cross leg, uh, oh, side tilt, I've got the wrong thing here. Okay, so you're going to cross your leg over, and then, I have the wrong leg crossed, and then, sorry, lean into the chair, okay, and then come back into standing. So the chair is to help with that lean over to keep your balance, but you definitely want the legs crossed. So I've got the left leg over top of the right, my brain got all confused there for a moment, but we've got it now. And sort of stretches all along the side of the knee here as you go over. And it is also a balance challenge. So you can just bring your arm down here to shoulder. It doesn't really matter what you're doing with that arm. Okay, and then I'm going to move the chair and do that on the other side. There, now that I know what I'm doing and get my brain working about which ankle is crossed over. Okay, and then just go to the other side. We 
and you can do it if you might be at the point where you don't need to hold on the whole time and that's just fine but the chair is here if you need it again it's different levels of where you are in your recovery just a few more seconds here and then this workout is done Excellent job, everybody. I hope this helped with knee recovery or just a very gentle knee workout if you're having uh, a flare-up in arthritis pain. Let me know if you like these types of workouts. I can definitely do more knee recovery or arthritic type workouts. I definitely do them for my own knees. So let me know if you like them by giving me a thumbs up and commenting below. Hope to see you soon.